Uh, my name's Derek, I'm a composer um, with Coventry-based theatre company Talking Birds. Um, so what you're about to hear is the result of a collaboration between Talking Birds, Coventry Music, and 29 young people from three schools in Coventry, Steichel, Linghall, and Sherborne Fields. Excellent. Um, so they're representing primary, secondary, and SEND schools in Coventry. So the brief was to create a fanfare to celebrate the reopening of this building, not only as an amazing venue, but also as a home to Coventry Music who provide music tuition and run ensembles with thousands of young people in Coventry every year. It seems very fitting to be performing the piece now, which is almost exactly 190 years before it first opened. So, just to explain how the piece was composed, I went into the three schools and we talked about the idea of a fanfare, which can be a herald to an important event like tonight. Uh, it could be a battle, it could be a, a, a ceremonial occasion. So we explored the sounds of brass instruments, which are a classic um, fanfare thing, which are very rich and, and, and can project outdoors, but also sound lovely in a warm acoustic like this. Um, then Hannah, who's the um, general manager and programmer here, took the three schools on a virtual tour of this building uh, exploring the lavish society rooms on this level, right down to the basement, which was an air raid shelter during World War II and the base for the Women's Royal Voluntary Service. Uh, the kids particularly enjoyed the anecdote that the council had to refund the Drapers Guild after the mysterious depletion of the wine cellars that happened while Coventry people were shel sheltering in them. So. Those cellars are actually now full of musical instruments used by young people in Coventry. So all this was used to inspire the creation of the five minute piece you're about to hear. Things to listen out for are the sound of the owls, which you'll see in the cornices of the reading room, the rhythm of the judge's gavel uh, from when the building was a youth court and there's still the stand through there that you put the Bible on and swear. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll hear some of the drama and the dis dissonance of the building's history. And naturally, because we're in the ballroom, you'll get not one but three waltzes for the Strictly fans. And of course, we couldn't not feature the minstrels gallery where the band used to play for the dances. So this is the Drapers Hall fanfare composed by 29 young people with a little help from myself and my colleague Barry played by the Coventry Music Brass Quintet, Mark Allison, Richard Taggart, Brenda Allison, Barry Johnson, and Mark Steele. <laughs> 